So I don't know if any of y'all been watching uh, Top Shot on the History Channel. It, uh, it's been off like a week now or something. So uh, anyways, I watched it from the beginning. Never missed an episode. And uh, I was expecting like... From the previews, I was expecting some serious marksmanship, stuff like, uh, you know, best marksmanship overall with 10 different kinds of handguns, best marksmanship with various guns. And um, I was disappointed. In, in a way, it was similar to best marksmanship type stuff because it encompassed. Uh, varying firearms, uh, varying things like um, shooting under stress or um, you know, sh shooting different types of firearms you've never shot. But it didn't have a lot to do with marksmanship ability. It had a lot to do more with um, a person's ability to adapt to a different situation. A situation maybe that they hadn't been in before. And I'm thinking, man, you know, I could probably outshoot most of them people on there with the exception of maybe um, some of the pistol shooters like JJ or Blake you know I probably wouldn't be able to outshoot them in speed competition shooting or something like that because I've never done that but as far as straight out marksmanship with a handgun or with ten different handguns I'd have them hands down I think because you know I never shot a Beretta but I shot Glocks and 1911s and Rugers and Walther P38s and freaking you name it. I mean, and it seems like to me a lot of experience with different handguns is really going to pay off in a show like that. But uh, you know, and I'm sure I could shoot a Beretta just fine if I you know ever had the chance. But um, I was I was disappointed. You know, and not just with the handguns because it, it, it's a show about marksmanship. Uh, you know, top shot, and I'm thinking, you know, how do you shoot a throwing knife? You know what I'm saying? You know, I can see shooting a bow maybe, but they didn't lead it up to believe you was going to be, you know, classed in any kind of knives or bows and freaking slingshots and crap like that. And uh, I thought that the I just thought that was just crap. I thought it shouldn't have been, you know, shouldn't have even been allowed. If the editors, you know, the producers, the people that was in charge, they couldn't come up with anything better than that, they need to be fired and me put in charge. You know, I mean, marksmanship with a BB gun is going to be harder, uh, maybe not harder than a bow or a throwing knife if you've never done it, but it's going to be, um, it's going to challenge the skills it takes to fire a weapon accurately. You know, they didn't have anything about uh, repeatability of accuracy. They didn't have anything about um, maybe the ability of a person to shoot uh, uh, with, a, with a weapon where they have to disassemble it or do maintenance on the weapon, you know, or things like that. And, and that's all really part of any kind of firearms ownership you know you got to be able to to use your gun effectively you got to be able to uh, clean it uh, disassemble it to clean it of course you know maintain it modify if necessary and uh, use it under adverse conditions you know and if I remember they did shoot in the rain once but you know they should have took them out in the freaking pouring rain you know, had them all shoot and see how they did. They should have took them out in the freaking heat one day and the cold one day. You know, they should have had them shoot at night. You know, shooting on the run, things like that. Just and not just with the pistols, but with with rifles too. You know, they didn't even have any shotgun shooting. They had uh, the only shotgun shooting was in the trick shooting video. They had. Uh, at the end, they had, I guess it was probably Kelly and um, and Brad. Uh, don't quote me on that, but they was in the show off in the elimination trial. They uh, they shot shotguns, and I'm just thinking, you know, the ability to shoot a shotgun, maybe not well, but you know, effectively shoot some clay pigeons, some trap. Uh, it's a fundamental firearms. 
uh, ability. I mean, there's nobody out there who can't do it fair. I mean, if you can't do it fair, either your eyes are fricked up or you just you're horrible at all things gun. But any, anybody that can shoot a rifle halfway decent can shoot a shotgun halfway decent too. It's not that hard to grasp. I mean, 50/50 is halfway decent. It's decent enough to put food on the table, you know. So I thought that was a load of crap. Thought what they should have done was, uh, you know, test more aspects of firearms handling and firearms usage, and marksmanship than uh, freaking throwing knives and shooting a bow and arrow. You know, bow and arrow. They should have, you know, archery slinger or something on their next show instead of having a, a firearms channel. And in the beginning, in the previews, they got you all worked up. Because it shows, um, it shows um, the black guy, what was his name, uh, Andre, I think. Uh, they show him holding a desert eagle, like he's going to shoot this desert eagle. There wasn't a desert eagle in the show. What's up with that? And they showed this other guy, uh, the bald dude, uh, Bill or something, I think the first guy to get eliminated. They show him holding a... Uh, a Beretta 9mm with a silencer on it or a suppressor, okay? Didn't see a suppressor in the video or in the, um, in the TV show. And the only rifles they had, you'd think they could have got a better rifle than a freaking M16 or an AR-15 and a, uh, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it, but, you know, anybody that's been in the military can shoot one halfway decent. 99% of the people that's into guns have shot one. I would think, but uh, you got that, the Mosin Nagant rifle, um, like the SGD, SGT40 or SVT40, something like that, some semi automatic uh, Russian rifle. And then they had uh, uh, the 1903 Springfield, and they had uh, something else I don't remember. I don't know, and they had an HK91 clone. And I'm just like, Dang, you know, <clears throat> where's your your 3030 30 lever action? One of the quintessential American firearms. You know, they they did have a 73 Winchester, and that was cool, but they only had that for the elimination challenge. They didn't have it for the marksmanship that I recall, except in the trick shooting video. And in trick shooting, okay, let's face it. Any of y'all that's ever tried trick shooting, shooting, let's say, with a mirror and a rifle, there's a trick to it. It's not that hard. If you can shoot decent, you can shoot with a mirror. I guarantee it. With a, a day's worth of practice, you can get it down pat. At the 30 feet they were shooting, you know, maybe 50 feet or something. You know, when I was a kid, or when I was, oh, I don't know, 18 or 19, I took a, uh, a 22 rifle and my mama's hand mirror and I went outside and I was freaking shooting you know coke cans at like 20 yards with a mirror and uh, you know it's I've, since I've done it I kind of realized it's not really that hard and then uh, it was so funny because in the in the in the show you see uh, you see Denny the cowboy some of y'all might notice, you know, I wear a cowboy hat or whatever, but, uh, you know, it doesn't make you a cowboy. Obviously, this guy, he couldn't shoot. Uh, I didn't see him shoot anything. The only thing he did is at the last uh, knife throwing, where he, right at the end, he threw the knife and he got, a, he got a stick with the knife. That's the only thing he hit the whole dang uh, show. And I was thinking to myself, this guy is supposed to shoot a cowboy gun for a living, you know, like a Colt Peacemaker or something. During the uh, the challenge where they used the Colt Peacemaker for the uh, trick shooting, didn't hit nothing. And uh, I thought it was crap. I really did. I, I was mighty impressed with that boy Kelly, though. I think he should have got it. He didn't run up the hill quite fast enough, and that got him eliminated. Mm -mm. Marksmanship doesn't have anything to do with running. 
you know, maybe strategy or whatever, but he was a couple of seconds, you know, four or five seconds or something too slow. That's bull crap. Because that boy could flat shoot. And if, uh, if I know that kid, I'll tell you what, I'd be darn lucky. Because everything he touched, every weapon he picked up, whether he'd shot it or not, that boy flat mastered it in about 30 minutes. He was able to hit what he aimed at, and his fundamental marksmanship skills were just outstanding, I think. But anyways, that's going off on tangent. <clears throat> I don't know about the the next show coming up. I don't know if I'm going to watch it or not because I was pretty disappointed with the first one. The first episode was crap and uh, I don't know. I kept watching it hoping it would get better and it seemed to a few times but then it, you know, the, just the whole theory behind the show was crap in my opinion. They, uh, it, obviously the people that made the show you know, didn't have any idea about firearms ownership or usage or, you know, the fundamentals of marksmanship and what should be applied. And that's another thing that got me. Okay? Anybody that knows anything about guns knows you can't take a Mosin Gat rifle, pick it up, and 100 yards shoot a half dollar with it, okay? Unless it's your Mosin Gat and you got the sights set. You know, and that's just for an example. They wasn't shooting half dollars, they were shooting something bigger. But, you know, you think about it, you got some old surplus rifle. And um, it didn't show that they sighted the rifle in. You know, and each person sights their gun in a little different, but if it's sighted in on a rest, let's say I sight my rifle in on a rest, okay? And I got shooting exactly where it shoots point of aim for me, and you pick it up, it might shoot an inch off. Or something just because you you know got a little twitch in your body or something that I don't I'm just gonna shoot pretty close so you know that that got me to thinking is it was luck of the draw if the rifle or the handgun you got the sights were on and you couldn't really uh you know it didn't seem like you could complain and say hey man you know my rifle shooting a foot to the left that's not fair because his is shooting where he aims obviously he hit it so I just thought it was crap, you know. Maybe if they get some better people, some better shooters, or uh, some better producers on the next one, maybe it'd be worth watching, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. This is John signing off.